Nervous faces, intense concentration, the prelude to a countdown to history. Scientists had been working towards this for the last 13 years. At 5.15 on November the 9th, they got it. Fusion, creating energy by smashing atoms together, and the life's work for most of the 450 scientists from all over Europe working on the JET project at Cullen. It's taken 35 years to get a smile like this. Yes. yes. Oh, tremendous. I've been here 18 years, and this is what we've been waiting for. The relief was tangible, followed by urgent calls to waiting spouses. And we got more than nearly twice what we aimed for. Those who fancied a flutter had started a sweepstake on just how successful it would be. Nuclear fusion is the energy powering the sun. The jet scientists aim to reproduce it by taking hydrogen from limitless supplies available in water. It takes place in a donut-shaped device called a torus. Two types of atom are driven together, deuterium and radioactive tritium, at 200 million degrees centigrade. That fuses the atoms and leaves some bits left over. It's those particles, or neutrons, the snow-like flashes from JET's remote camera, which generate the energy. This is the first attempt with real fusion fuels. It's the first time we've tried it. It worked first time. That's a tremendous achievement. We're now ready to carry on with the program that we had planned to a more prolonged generation of rather more fusion power. It was a European project, but scientists from all over the world came to witness the historic breakthrough. It was a very exciting moment. Uh, we do similar research there in San Diego, and uh, of course we're not prepared to use tritium in our experiment, so we're very excited to see the, the first fusion power really generated in one of these devices. The JET project was started in 1978 when scientists from all over Europe came together. But there's a long way to go. The experiment produced enough energy to power 17,000 electric kettles for just under a second, but it took nearly 10 times that amount to create it. We're not claiming that we're uh, going to uh, reduce our electricity bills with this experiment. And indeed, indeed, that was not the aim of JET at all. The aim of JET is to show scientifically and technically how we progress forward. For now, the taste of success still lingers. And it may continue at Cullum. It's been announced that a fusion reactor is to be built at a cost of 2.8 billion pounds because of the weekend success. And Cullum is a prime candidate for the operation.